Hi guys, thanks for checking out this Diagnostic World video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about diagnostic tools for Land Rover vehicles. Uh, we've got three diagnostic tools here that we believe are uh, very suitable and certainly within the grasp of any home DIYer. Um, what we're basically running through is our top three picks. Um, and the reason we're putting them in, them in the top three is, as I say, they are very much in the class of any home DIYer. They're not too expensive. Um, we know there are, the market is pretty much flooded with their diagnostic tools for all makes and models. Um, but we're not going to be covering any of the dealer level tools because they are frankly way too expensive. And at the same time, we're not going to be covering any illegal or clone diagnostic tools because they are, well, they are illegal obviously um, and you will have nothing but trouble with them and they very rarely will they work as they are supposed to. So what we've got here is three diagnostic tools uh, which are all genuine units, uh, well within the, um, the price range of any home DIYer. Uh, so we'll just run through them now. The first one we're going to look at is called the iCarsoft i930. Um, it actually covers Land Rover and Jaguar. Uh, so we'll do another video for the, for the, uh, the Jaguar vehicles, but right now we're just focusing on uh, Land Rover vehicles. Uh, so we'll pull this out. Uh, obviously, I'll just show you the, uh, the box there. And we'll pull this out and it will reveal a nice soft carry pouch. So we'll just have a look, check the contents inside the pouch, see what we've got. Well, first of all, we have the user manual here. This is the actual diagnostic tool itself. And what we have here is the USB port for updating the device. I'll just open up the... I'll get onto the updating uh, devices in a moment. I'll show you the actual tool. So this is it here. It's got easy to use buttons here. This is the diagnostic port. Um, plug which just plugs straight into the diagnostic port of your vehicle. Now each of our iCarsoft tools will have a unique serial number on the back. Uh, you won't be able to see it on this one but um, it has a serial number on the back there. Uh, so what, it, what the tool this basically um, will do is um, on mainly all sort of Land Rovers, anything from sort of 2001 onwards really, uh, you're looking at um, it'll cover things like ABS systems, SRS airbags, uh, engine, transmission, uh, if you've got like hill descent warning lights, um, if you need to reset like suspension or anything like that, this is the, the tool that will help you out. It will give you live data, um, and allow you to erase trouble codes, read trouble codes and reset trouble codes. Uh, when you're resetting your trouble codes, uh, that will also reset the warning light which is on your dashboard as well. Um, so it will give you a, a unique fault code, a manufacturer specific fault code, uh, which can also be backed up with a, a short description of the actual fault below it. So it gives you a much better idea and a much better understanding of what's actually going on inside your car and what actually needs to be fixed. Um, as I say you get uh, well you get free updates for life with this tool so um, right now it's June 2016 but in June 2017 there might be another Land Rover released onto the market. Um, what happens is the engineers will develop software for that particular vehicle and they will add it to the tool so uh, your tool will never really go out of date, it will always be updated with the latest software with the latest vehicles uh, included on the kit. Now we won't go into pricing in this particular video because obviously pricing is, is always subject to change so we'd hate to give you a price now and then you look onto the website and it's a different price. Uh, so if you just click onto Diagnostic World uh, for the latest price you'll find that on there. So the second tool we're going to look at is the LR2 and it stands for Land Rover 2. So again we'll take a look at this one. This is a bigger box, bigger pouch, which means the unit's going to be bigger itself. So again we've got the nice uh, sort of soft carry pouch, a zip to open. Now on this particular side you've got a, a sort of an update dongle, you've got a, a connection lead, on this particular side you've got a connection for uh, connecting it to the vehicle and the diagnostic port and we'll pull out the tool itself. Now this tool obviously looks a bit different but I like these tools and I'll show you why. That's the tool itself. It's got 
very easy to use buttons, very easy to navigate on the screen. If you look at the back, it's got like pitted areas for where you put your hands. So you basically, it's like a, a 90s console game really. Um, but that's how you sort of toggle through the menus and select the systems or trouble codes that you wish to look at or arrays. Uh, again, you get free updates with this one for life, so the latest software will always be on there. Now the difference between this kit here and the i9-30 uh, kit is basically this kit here will allow you to cover a few more systems, so it'll cover the electronic parking brake. Um, it will also allow you to reset the oil service light, so if you've got an oil service message uh, saying your service is overdue or needs to be, uh, needs to be done, uh, once the service is done you can actually reset that message or light with this particular kit here. Uh, so that's why this one, you'll generally pay a bit more for this one than the i930, uh, but it does have extra features. Um, it, it, it colours everything that the i930 does, but more. So, free updates with this one again. But they're both excellent tools, both excellently made. A good support for them, direct from the manufacturer. So we'll pop this one back in the box. And then we'll move on to our third and final kit that we have for the Land Rover. Right, so that's those two, we'll put these away. Now this is the third kit, this is the Launch CRP123. Um, now why would you choose this kit here over these two kits here? Well, basically this kit here, in your Land Rover, it'll cover the four main systems. So it covers engine, it covers ABS, and traction and hill descent. It covers airbags, the SRS, and it covers your transmission. So there's your four systems. Um, so it covers those on Land Rover vehicles, but it also covers those four systems on lots of other makes and models as well. So if you had a family member, a friend, uh, or another relative, or somebody, uh, or maybe you have another car, or maybe you are looking to change your car in a few years' time, this kit will always be up to date because it covers lots of different makes and models like BMW, Audi, um, VW, Seat, Skoda, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, all of the main major European brands this will cover. It doesn't cover Peugeot, Citroen or Renault. Um, you need a different kit for that, but um, this is what you'd need if you are sort of contemplating and diagnosing more than one car, or you look after more than one vehicle, CRP123 is, uh, is a good way to go. Um, it's a similar sort of design as the LR2, where as you can see you've got your left, right, up, down, OK, and two buttons here. And on the back here, again, you've got like a sort of a pitted area for your, for your hands, so that's how you would navigate through the menus. Very easy to use again though. This again, you'll get free updates on this kit. Um, comes with all of the necessary cable, set of instructions, user manual. Um, so it's very easy to use. All three of these absolutely highly recommended. They are great diagnostic tools. Um, once you've bought this and used it twice, I guarantee it will already have saved you money than having to take your vehicle to the to the garage, either either a main dealer or an independent garage. Generally, you're looking at the cost of around between 50 to 85 pounds just to hook it up with a diagnostic machine to find out what's wrong. Once you've done that twice with these kits, it's already paid for itself. Everything else. Is plain sailing. Um, so if you are interested in any of these kits, if you have more questions, uh, if you want to uh, view a few more videos of these kits in action, uh, see more pictures, see more specific information with regards to the tools, uh, go into Google, search www.diagnostic-world.com or just search for Diagnostic World. Um, in the area and the information below this video, if you're watching it on YouTube, we'll put the direct links to all of these kits in the actual information box. Um, so that's it. If you are interested, have a look, check out Diagnostic World and um, you'll see all of these kits available there. Thanks for watching.